This is American Raw from American Pancake, and it is time for another song of the day. Now, oftentimes I will get accused of just covering indie rock, post-punk, punk, punk um, avant-garde stuff, divergent music. Not true. Well, while this band I'm about to talk about is very divergent, they are much closer to jazz than to any of those aforementioned genres of music. Although I do, in my review, I did call them jazz rock, jazz post rock blendo because they are very hard to to uh, pinhole, really. But the band is called Mole Slope. They're from Tokyo, Japan, and they just released an album called Slope. Seven really dynamic, really surprising tracks a lot of songs especially if you have listened to a lot of music or you're a musician you can kind of telegraph where the song is going you know um, you know first chorus first chorus bridge chorus typically or even if it goes in some divergent roots sometimes you can kind of feel it you can kind of feel it by the interplay of the band you can't feel the changes in what's about to happen on the songs by Mole Slope on this particular album. When Dufal Records, an, in, an independent label out of Tokyo, uh, sent me the track Changing, I simply responded to them and said, Simply Badass, because it is just that. It's first track off the Slope album, um, just released uh, December 13th of last year. And at the core of their music in that song are two keyboardists slash synth players, Chi Takazawa and Mami Matsuzaki, who face each other when they're playing live, and they just set the core and the pace on their really cool rhythms. A lot of the rhythms feeling very much like Canterbury Jazz, Canterbury Jazz Rock, um, which is kind of a, a tends to be a Brit proto jazz slash post rock sound uh, from the 60s and within that motif they start blending in other sounds other things shifting into um, again post rock some post punk some experimental sounds they never stay centered in one genre, but they blend them all together, hence my weird blendo term to describe them. Uh, when changing is in this chunky jazz groove that stair steps with, with, ho with horns and, and kind of exquisite sideways drumming, the, drum the drummer is absolutely killer on this. Uh, by the way, let me look up his name. Uh, Daisuke Akamoto, fantastic drummer, but all the players are fantastic. And the way they push contemporary jazz filters in proggy ways, and then in other senses they'll kind of even put elements of new wave and proto-punk, and they just, they're able to, like a really good chef that is able to put this, you know, fusion of all these um, spices from all around the world and, and, and make some fusion cuisine, that's what they do with, with their music. It's all instrumental. And again, I was just stunned by this album. And I listened to it all the way through. Um, one song, I was... The record label sent me changing. But the song that absolutely is so sinister, sinisterly cool is a song called Killer. It is just incredible and I won't even I won't even describe it because I want you to listen to it but it definitely takes you on a real cinematic journey and listen if you want to listen to that song fine I mean just listen listen to that song and then go back to the start and just listen to the album it's so good so monoslope R and uh, I apologize if I uh, pronounce these uh, names incorrectly monoslope R Chi Takazawa on keyboard and synth, along with Mami Matsuzaki on keyboards and synth. Royo Hisa 
Tsuni on guitar and trumpet, Toru Kaisai on bass, Daisuku Akamoto on drums, Akihiko Ando on saxophone, and Junko Akumura Mura on trumpet. Seven piece band, killer. They're a band that if somebody would care to like, really listen to them and take them in, they, they should be like on SNL, not some of the bands that are on SNL. I mean, they should be on television here and important players within the jazz fusion genre. This is American Rob from American Pancake, and I will see you on the other side.